William Pierce was in federal court in Norfolk this morning on another case to show why he refused a court order to supply a key to a strong box he owns that the government wants access to. Pierce has been charged with mail fraud, specifically that he defrauded one of his former employers, Honeywell Corporation, of thousands of dollars. But Pierce and his attorney, Bob Flynn, claim the mail fraud charge is a sham designed to keep him from telling what he knows to a federal grand jury investigating CIA renegade Ed Wilson. Uh, or at least it's claimed in the civil suit that Honeywell is directly involved in a conspiratorial way uh, with a series of events leading up to Mr. Pierce's current problems. The problems seem to stem from several people's involvement with this man, Edwin Wilson. Wilson has been twice convicted of arms charges and attempting to murder witnesses against him. Pierce says Wilson hired him to follow another Wilson employee, and on two occasions he observed that person make payments of $10,000 to Senator Strom Thurmond. He told this story to a grand jury investigating Wilson. I saw an envelope pass to Senator Thurmond. But uh, I had no idea what it was for, whether it was a bribe. I had absolutely no idea. Thurman, on the other hand, categorically denies the allegation. A spokesman for the senator says Thurman has asked the Justice Department to investigate the charges and make the results public. I'm confident that investigation will show that Pierce is an outrageous liar and that nothing he has said, nothing, not one word of it, Whatsoever. Pierce says pressure is being exerted against him here for several reasons. One, he says Thurman is putting pressure on U.S. District Court Judge J. Calvert Clark to chill his chances to give additional testimony to the grand jury. Secondly, Honeywell, he says, is worried about connections between itself and Wilson that may come out. Judge Clark says it would be most improper for him to comment on the matter, but he makes it absolutely clear that he gives no credence to any of the charges in the suit. Clark, nevertheless, has removed himself from the case between Pierce and Honeywell. He says it would not be proper for him to sit on that case, considering one of the people involved has a suit against him. That suit asks for more than a million dollars in punitive and compensatory damages. I'm Ed Hazelwood, The Daily News.